What's up guys? Cutter28 back again with for Next Level Gamers. And today we're on the new transit map. Ubisoft has just dropped three new multiplayer maps for us here. So our, we're in here with the squad once again. Goofing around, having some fun, trying out the new map. And in a few minutes, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, goofing around. I am making my way around here, and as I'm heading down a little bit further, I'm going to get hit by a grenade by none other than the man himself, Cav. Why? Because Cav and Bang like to try and blow each other up. So, in the crossfire, I got hit with a grenade, and then I got picked off by their team. So, thanks for your help, guys. What a great teamwork that was. Frig, I tell you. Anyways, guys... We have lots to talk about. Ubisoft, like I said, just dropped this one. We are on here. We got into another one as well, but there wasn't anybody in the lobby, so we bailed out. We weren't able to play on the Palace, but eventually we'll get more gameplay of those maps as well. So this is kind of cool. Lots of uh, lots of areas to go up and down and in here and hide and all that kind of stuff. We have uh, just recently played with the team team Knockout, so shout out to those guys. That was our very first squad match. I know for some of us, including myself. That was an experience and a half, I freaking tell you. We got our asses handed to us. So, I'm sure guys, a couple guys are going to be surprised by this, but we, I'm going to put up that gameplay, and we're going to talk about it a little bit here. I don't know if I'll put up the entire thing, but I'm definitely going to put up a little bit of it. Um, we'll talk more about it when that time comes. So look for that here shortly as well. But yeah, like I said, a shout out to Bloom and the guys on Team Knockout. Now, we also got a lot of stuff going on with for Next Level Gamers, guys. We have a tournament coming up here at the end of the month if you are in the Ontario region of Midland. So, I know a lot of you guys are everywhere, kind of scattered throughout on uh, Ontario, as well as just wherever in the world. So, we will probably post some pictures on our Facebook page, on our Twitter account, as well as maybe our website. Hopefully, it'll be up and running by then. So look for that event on the 29th at EB Games in Midland, Ontario, guys. If you are in the area, definitely swing by. We're going to be having some prizes and stuff to give out, so should be a great time, a great night. Lots of things to do, lots of fun. Well, we're on the topic of Assassin's Creed, guys. I'm going to fill you in next week as to what the event is going to entail for that. Also, when Black Ops 2 drops, we'll be back at EB Games for another event. And I, once again, I will fill you in as to what we're going to be doing for that too. So, lots of stuff coming, guys. Lots of events are in the works. And speaking of events, let's talk about the Sony Holiday Preview event that myself and the crew went down to. It was a great night down in Toronto. Lots of lots of games. Lots of guys to talk to. A ton of fun. We went down to the event knowing of some games that were going to be there and some were surprises. Some nice surprises, actually. Uh, Superbot was there, so we definitely talked to those guys. From there, we uh, basically took a tour around to see what all games were set up. Some Vita was set up. Some Assassin's Creed 3 was on display as well. So as we make our way around the room, we saw the Unfinished Swan. There's a new DLC that's coming out shortly, actually, I believe. That looks pretty cool, actually. So we got our hands on that. That was pretty neat. We'll see about uh, maybe doing a review on that for the site, guys. So take a look for that. We had some fun. I know my cousin there, he was trying it out. CSI Mayberry was doing it, and I was all disoriented trying to watch him twirl that move controller around. Pretty confusing. But once I got my hands on it, and it was myself in control. Not that I'm saying I'm a better controller of the, the move itself, but just the angle, and he was pretty new to the move controller itself. So once I kind of got his level, uh, things went out a lot better. Uh, Sly Cooper was right beside that. I'm looking forward to that as well. It's been a long time since I've had a half decent platforming game of that kind of genre. So that's pretty cool. We'll be definitely have a review of that. That is going to be the cross buy as well for the Vita. So we'll put up a little blurb of how it kind of works with the Vita as well as the PS3 version. From there, we moved down. We saw some little big carting. The they had some God of War 3 on display. Now, if any of you have seen the E3 demo that they were showing, that's what they had on display for us to try out. I never got my hands on that, unfortunately. Just kind of ran out of time. It looks pretty cool. I was hoping to see some of the multiplayer. Unfortunately, they didn't have any there. Uh, the guys had Assassin's Creed 3 there. So, I'm sure everybody by now has seen that naval boat stuff on the water. That looked pretty cool. I know Booker wasn't all that excited. Um, 
I don't want to really touch too much of it. I'm trying to stay away from Assassin's Creed 3 as much as possible. I don't want to spoil anything for myself. They had Liberation on the Vita as well. I saw one guy, he said it was fantastic. I, I just took one glimpse out of it and I walked away. I don't want to spoil that either, so try and stay away from some of the some of the games as much as possible you don't want to get yourself kinda of, you want to lose the the surprise and all that kind of stuff so definitely st I saw some I couldn't keep my hands off of and others I like ah, I just I just couldn't do it so from there we walked around a little bit we talked to the guys from Injustice that was on display and as we kinda of made our way down around we came across the guys from IO Interactive and Square Enix now I didn't realize that the Hitman Absolution game was there and it has been so long since I played a Hitman game. I was just okay. You know what? Forget this. I gotta try it out. It's been that long. I just, I just can't keep my hands off of it. So, gave that a try. I did my thing. So I just walked in, took out my target, and bailed out unnoticed. Just the way the game's meant to be played, right? So, that was awesome. I can, I just can't wait for that game to come out. I'll be getting that uh, probably launch day. So, absolutely. I've already pre-ordered the special edition for that. So I'll be getting my hands on that, and we'll be tossing up some gameplay for that. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll be doing some walkthroughs, two walkthroughs. One with the Instinct gameplay, and one with the Purist mode. So they've got a wide variety of difficulty levels on Hitman, and we'll be going from one difficulty right to the very top. So we'll see what we can do. I told the guys there I'm looking to Platinum that one. He said I've got my work cut out for me, so that should be awesome. I can hardly wait for Hitman to drop. That'll be coming next month. PlayStation All-Stars is next month, and Assassin's Creed is this month, so lots of uh, games coming, and uh, we'll see what we can do to post a lot of this stuff for you. So things that we're working on, guys, is we were talking to the guys from Superbot. We definitely want to get into some tournaments there, some uh, live tournaments, some online tournaments. They agreed. Absolutely think it's a great idea. So we're going to try and get some of that hooked up. There is lots to play. I had an absolute blast playing that game. I'm looking forward to that. I actually ran into uh, another guy who took a pretty good beating on me, and he won that round. It's very interesting to see because you don't know who's winning at that game at all. So by the end of it, you realize, oh, crap, I've lost, or awesome, I've won. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. That, that's got some pretty cool moves. I know I'm going to have to learn some of the moves. It's not a button masher like some some people think. I'm pretty sure a lot of people think it's just a button masher like Smash Brothers, and it's really not. If you uh, if you exploit it a lot, there's a lot of tactical moves and things you should really be doing that people just aren't doing. So definitely want to work with those guys. We'll get in there, get some tournaments set up, and all those kind of things. We'll bring some big events hopefully, and from there we talk to the guys at Injustice. We're gonna work on working with them as well. We want to bring that to an online community as well as some live events. There's a, that's kind of a no-brainer as well. These fighting games are awesome. I'm a big fighting fan. Way back from Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, if you guys can uh, throw back way back then, and Tekken and all that kind of stuff, right? So definitely going to be bringing lots of that gameplay. And we, like I said, we talked to the guys at IO Interactive. They, uh, they got that contracts mode, and I don't see why uh, we can't do something with that. That should be very interesting. I think we can do a lot of gameplay stuff with that contracts, posting tournaments and stuff for that too. So, lots of things to look forward to. I can hardly wait. It is a fantastic time to be a gamer. There's just lots of things we can do. Lots of things, lots of people we're talking to, guys. So, definitely stick around. Don't go anywhere. This channel's got a lot of things growing right now. So, Now, I know I haven't done too much uh, talk about the actual gameplay here. I just want to give you guys an update of what the channel was coming with. Uh, what we got in store, that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said last week, I was going to talk about the Sony event and how... Uh, how it turned out and we think it turned out great for us there's lots of things going there so uh, as far as gameplay goes this is the I think we played this once only once on the map for transit and we never were able to get in the other two so I don't know how many people actually bought the DLC I'm hoping more people join in and uh, try it out the more people that buy the DLC guys it gives Ubisoft a reason to produce more DLC for us so if you back them, I'm hoping they back us, right? So this is the third piece of DLC. I'd love to see some more. I'm a big fan of new maps. I like playing on uh, something different every now and then. So the more maps, the merrier as far as I'm concerned. I want to see more DLC coming. I don't mind spending an extra 10 bucks, 15 bucks even, if I can get some new maps, uh, some learn, uh, learn some new things. So back up Ubisoft, guys, like I said, and maybe they'll bring us some more content. 
with the Assassin's Creed 3 what we're gonna be doing they're they're dropping a season's pass they call it so with that I'm gonna be purchasing the season's pass and I'm gonna give you guys an update as to how that's going is it worth your money is it not worth your money should you have invested in the season pass what they say is they're gonna launch DLC every month from what I understand and it's gonna cost me 30 bucks up front not 40 bucks by the end of it so they they've got this plan set out that you can buy so much DLC and if you were to buy it on the day it dropped instead of buying the season's pass it's going to cost you more in the long run so apparently i will save 10 bucks so i will do an update from now now and then as to how that's going when the dlc drops was it worth my uh, money will it be worth your money if you didn't buy the season's pass if you like it and we'll keep you updated as far as uh, that goes because i know i got a few guys from the actual squad are getting the game and they said well i don't know if i'm going to get the season pass or not i don't blame you I know some people don't get the DLC to start with. I'm a, like I said, I'm a big fan of getting DLC. Um, at first, when the console actually launched, I wasn't a big fan of DLC. I'm a, I kind of like having the disc in my hand. I don't want to download squat. Now I've actually kind of come right around. You gotta get with the times. It's basically coming that way. Everything's DLC. The day the disc is pretty well going, right? So eventually, as everybody has uh, upgraded their internet and stuff, everything's going to be DLC. But that's a whole other topic, so I'll leave that alone. But definitely, I would be, like I said, buying that DLC, the season pass, and I'll give you guys updates as to how that went, whether it's worth my money or, like I said, your money in the end. So the video is wrapping up here shortly, guys. Man, my first impression of the new DLC for the map is the transit map. I do, I do like it. I know I've still got lots to learn. Uh, this, like I said, this is my first time on the map itself. So our squad was in here. We did pretty well this time. Um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I do like the transit map. Uh, we'll get further along and we'll see if uh, that changes at all. Maybe some of the things I don't like afterwards playing the new map. So two more maps to test out yet. I'll give you my impressions on those as well. But yeah, I, I like the the terrain it's got as far as up and up and down levels, other levels to, to kind of go and hide, right? So it is a pretty big map. It's not one of the smaller ones. It's not like the pipeline. Pipeline is pretty... Uh, pretty compact so I think there's lots of roaming around here to do so it's you definitely need need a full squad to be in here let me know your impressions of the DLC I'm sure a lot of you guys have already put in the time and played all three maps I'm interested to see what everybody else is thinking so leave me a comment in the in the comments below let me know what you think and like I said we'll give you my impression as well I'm sure Booker will be on here Booker will actually be bringing a video hopefully soon. I know he's got some recorded and he's just working on commentating stuff and we're going to get him an intro and we'll go from there. So he'll be up here very shortly. CSI Mayberry, I don't know when he's going to be up. I know he's a little busy working on uh, websites and our own website. So there's, we'll get him in. I know once Assassin's Creed 3 drops, we'll definitely have him, have him on here online. I'm sure we'll be uh, carrying his ass around, I'm sure. So, like I said, lots of fun. We are just, like I said, guys, average guys doing what we like to do best. We like to play, right? Games are games. And if you're having fun, that's what it's all about. So, if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that like button for us. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I am Cutter28 with, for Next Level Gamers. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next level. I'm out.